It is so freaking warm out in Sweden right now. Today I wanted to share with you guys my favorite summer go-to hair look for all this hair. Um, it is really warm. I will just put it in a like bun and just really get it out of the way. So look number one. But the look I'm doing today is a little bit more effort and it's also really pretty. I did this look a while back and took a picture of it and posted it on Instagram, just as always, nothing fancy. And that picture has been shared on hair forums and hair pages and hair Instagrams and all hair social media accounts in the universe. It's a little bit annoying because they obviously they don't get credit, but whatever. But before we get into that, I really quickly just wanted to share with you guys a part of my collaboration with Daniel Wellington. I have actually gone into a like long-term collaboration with them, so I'm super excited that we are going to be working together all the way to Christmas and probably beyond. And today, as always, it's so exciting when they release new watches because it's always exciting with new stuff. And the new watch for the season or for now, is the classic Petite Bondi, it's called. Bondi? Bondi. Bondi Beach. Bondi. <laughs> I don't know. Um, it's, uh, it's very similar to the other uh, Petite, classic Petite, other than the fact that the, um, the face of the watch is the smallest yet, and it has this really pretty white leather wrist band. I also got this very beautiful watch for this collaboration. If you have been following me during my collaboration with them, you know that my favorite watch, or my favorite wristband at least, is this uh, really light brown. I love it. Of course, you can still use my coupon code for 15% off. I'll leave all that information and all the links in the description below. And before we start with the hair, I just want to show you guys this wristband, which is not leather. So for those of you who don't want to wear leather and don't want to wear the, um, I don't know, metal uh, wristbands they have, this is a fabric uh, wristband. And the new watch, the Classic Petite, uh, arrives in this super pretty gift box. So if you have any graduations or anything coming up, perfect gift the perfect gift. Enough of that, let's get cooking with the hair video. What we're gonna want to do is just brush through your hair a little bit to make it easier for you. If you guys want more hair videos from me, um, give this video a thumb up. We are going to want to split the hair down the middle. And for those of you who have followed me for a long time, have seen my other hair videos, have seen my makeup videos, I am not a perfectionist. If something doesn't turn out perfect, that's fine. You don't have to redo things, you don't have to worry about it. Just part it somewhere. If it's not in the middle, who cares? And then I just sloppily split it down the middle in the back as well. It's not super important because the ponytail will be up here anyway, so the split in the back doesn't matter. Just tie off one side because we don't want it to be bothering us. Also, I would like to know if you guys prefer chit chat videos like this, or if you prefer like music and like everything being a little bit more focused on the hair. Because I'm just rambling right now uh, while I'll do, I do all of this stuff. Uh, so if you like when I'm talking while doing it, that's what I'll keep doing. But if you prefer when it's just the hair, you just want to see the look, how to do it, then let me know. Okay, now we're going to want to start doing the braid. I'll do my best to explain the braid to you. It's just, I mean, you can do this with a Dutch or a French braid. Both work perfectly fine. I think we're going to do Dutch because that's <laughs> the easiest for me for some reason. Um, and I know a lot of people say like, oh, I wish I could braid, I wish I could do this, I wish I could do that, but I can't. I couldn't either. I just did it. I have never been good at braiding. I have never been good at anything that has to do with hair. I just did it. I tried. And when you try, you're going to be surprised at how well it turns out, even when you don't know how to do it. And every time you do it, you get better. So don't just sit there and be like, oh, I wish I could do that. Just take your hair out, brush it through, and follow along in this tutorial because you can do it. So grab a little section in the front here. You can see 
how much of a section I start with. Again, does not matter how much you start with, just grab some hair and get going. Uh, we're going to divide it into three parts. Your fingers will learn how to work this braid the more you do it. So, what we're going to start doing is grab one side. I'm going to grab the side closest to my ear and put it under the middle strand. Under, done. Now, we grab the other side and put it under the middle strand again. Now it looks like this. Now, grab the side here. Again, your fingers will learn how to do this eventually. All you want to do is have this side and then you want to add hair to this side. So just grab some hair, add it to that strand and put it under the middle strand again. Now, we grab this strand on this side and we grab some hair from here. Let's see. And we add it to that strand. Now that you have the strand with the added part, you go under the middle strand again. Woohoo! And now we literally just repeat all the back to the nape of our nape. Is nape down here? Yeah, the crown. This is the crown. <laughs> to the crown of her head. To avoid any kind of bumps and like ugly parts that look like this, I really try, I don't always succeed, but I really try to first add it to the, to the strand it goes to, and then really try to like brush it out so it lies nicely in that direction. Because as you might know, hair naturally lies downwards. <laughs> so when you pull it upwards, it'll be kind of grumpy. So really do your best to make it comfortable lying upwards and pull it in the middle under the middle strand or be between the middle strands. Under? Under the middle strand. And now keep going. Take some hair here, add to it. I know there's a lot of hands, you can't really see what I'm doing. But... And under and tighten as much as possible so we can loosen it later. It's difficult to tighten it later. So tighten it as much as possible while doing the actual braid. This is turning out terrible, but that happens sometimes. <laughs> That's okay. When, when I do it, I just do it. I don't talk my way through it. So now when I'm trying to show you guys, I'm probably making a bunch of mistakes that I normally wouldn't make. Okay, now I would say I'm far enough back. I've gone all the way back here and I want my ponytail to be here somewhere. And, I mean, it doesn't look very nice when you've tied it off, but we're gonna stretch it out later. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So there, now they're approximately, approximately in the same place. And now you seriously just clamp those together and start picking up the rest of your hair. Of course, as always, like when I do tutorials, when I do looks for makeup, it turns out terrible compared to what it usually looks like. So. No, this is definitely not perfect. This is pretty shit, actually. I rarely make it this shit. But what else can I expect when I make a tutorial like this? And then just tie this crap together. This is probably the worst one I've done in my life. If something doesn't turn out perfect, that's fine. 
If you want, you can of course uh, pull out the braids a bit to make them a little bit thicker, a little bit nicer, make it a little bit more slappy. Doo -doo -doo. But honestly, I'm not fucking around with this. It's just gonna piss me off. Um, but this is how it's done anyway. And that's all for this video. Don't forget to check out the links below for my fabulous Daniel Wellington collaboration. Love it. If you're gonna rock this look, don't forget to tag me in a picture on Instagram so I can see you do it better than me. Until next time, have a super good one, guys. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.